What's good, y'all? VST5, Blood, Sweat, and Tears 5. It's going down tomorrow. Let's talk about it. First up, we got Big K versus JC. I'm not big on doing predictions because I don't like to say some shit and then it goes the other way when it goes down. But my personal opinion, salute to both those dudes. Big K's a problem. Major punchline rapper. Big uh, And JC though, he's just so smooth with his setups and his delivery and just his lyricism and wordplay that as good as Big K is, I personally got JC winning that battle. I'm not gonna say 3-0, I say 2-1. A lot of people seem to have JC winning that battle 2-1. <laughs> or just winning that battle in general, I'm not sure. But um, I think Big K's gonna do his thing. But I just see G uh, JC taking it, especially after seeing JC versus Chef Trez live. That type of JC going up against Big K, like, cause Chef Trez was punching nonstop. And if punches just ain't gonna be enough, in my opinion, for what JC can come with, with his setups and just his haymakers, man, this shit is powerful. Um, Big K, my personal opinion, bro, I'm not a big fan of when people do, you know, make faces and shit and talk when the other person's rapping. So if you hear JC say something that you don't necessarily rock with, don't do the little kick shit and just, just, just let him flow, bro. Just keep the stone face and let him flow. But my personal opinion, JC over Big K, 2-1. Next up, you got O Red versus Show Off. That's a good match. Um, Show Off has been doing his thing on the RBE stage, as we all know. But O Red, back on URL, man, versus Av, was a problem. Now, granted, Red wasn't the most polished in that battle, he had his little hiccups. He was arguing 24 7 about time limits. That shit was annoying. But my personal opinion, I don't know, man. I don't know. Red's a different type of dude, you know? He, he has a, a different style that's like kind of awkward and just, it's hard to beat in a sense, you know? You have to really come, come solid with the brother. And he can spit some shit that maybe don't hit as hard in the building, but on camera, it, it, he's, he's, he's different, Red is a little bit different. So I see this being a good match. I could see this going 2-1 either way. If Red comes with the same type of like ferociousness that he had versus Av, with a polished um, polished performance, no no hiccups, no stumbles, no chokes, nothing, I could see him beating Show Off two one. But then at the same stage, on the same same token, I could see uh, Show Off definitely putting in that work and beating Red two one. I got this one to toss up right now. It's really hard for me to call. One thing I will say is though. On the RBE stage, Show Off knows how to shine. So I give the edge to Show Off, you know, off of that. But I'm not sure. I give the edge to Show Off 2-1, but I could definitely see O Red coming in and putting in some savage work. Red, one thing I will tell you, man, leave the time, time limit argument bullshit. Leave that at home. Nobody want to hear that, especially after seeing the footage and seeing that you was rapping for 6 to 10 minutes per round versus ad. Nobody want to hear arguments about time limits. Forty bars versus QP. It's a good matchup. It's gonna be a highly lyrical battle. If you want to break it down by lyricism, I feel like QP could edge forty. But at the same time, just because you're better lyrically doesn't mean you're gonna win the battle. I feel as though when it comes to overall package, I got forty winning across the board. Stage presence. Bars, bar structure, punch lines, haymakers, delivery setups, wordplay, all of that. I got her winning. She just has, in my opinion, more of the total package. Um, but at the same time, word of the wise to 40. <laughs> QP is not nobody's PC. No disrespect to PC, but stylistically, uh, QP is better, better suited to uh, give her adequate competition. So. If you go choking in this battle, like you did in the third round on bullpen versus PC, you could end up fort in the battle rather than just giving up the third round. When you choke versus PC, all you did was go from 3-0 to 2-1.
this, you choke versus QP, you could go from 2-1 to losing 2-1. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll see what happens. But personally, I got 40 winning. QP, uh, beating QP, 2-1. Swave 7 versus Heavy Half. I'm going to keep it 100%. Heavy half is dope. I like the work he's put in so far, but I'm team homie bias. And that doesn't mean that I'm one of those fans that if Swave gets cooked, I'm gonna be like, nah, he still won. I'm biased in terms of who I predict to win, who I would like to see win, but I'm not gonna be biased when the battle drops. If Swave gets smoked, I'll be keeping a buck. Like, oh, Swave got chipped up eight ways from Sunday. But I've been a fan of Swave Seven since way, 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 way back. Back when he was battling disaster. Back when he smoked old red. I'm the what he said? Uh, some, some. I'm the wolf that'll kill red and his riding hood. Like that was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Back in the days. I'm a fan of Swave since then. I'm a fan of Swave since he was battling Sid Vicious. Since he was battling, I don't remember the homie's name. But he called them Oswald Cobblepots. And it was funny as hell because homie really looked like Oswald Cobblepots. Like, <laughs> salute to that man wherever you at. <laughs> but I'm, I'm Swave 17, Team Homie, so I got Swave winning 2-1. But if Swave gets beat the fuck up, I'll keep it 100%. And I will call it like it is and say that Swave got beat the fuck up. But I got Swave winning, prediction-wise, 2-1 over heavy hat. <laughs> Jay Murder versus Floss the Boss. I really like that matchup. The matchup is pretty dope. Floss the Boss is very uh, wild and animated. Kind of gives off like that little bit of like psychotic, like he's 730 type vibe when he's on stage and he's rapping, he's wide eyed, gets crazy and shit. Um, so I, I like what he does and I like what he brings to the table. In my opinion, he's kind of a wild card. So you don't really know what to expect from him other than Jesse gonna turn up. Um, Murder, Murder's been putting in work. As long as Murder is willing to, cause sometimes with Murder, I feel like he gets overly hyped and then it kind of messes him up. It takes him out of his element. He'll get overly hyped and he'll just be like overly angry in a sense, or he'll, he'll at least portray that he's overly angry. So then it, it might cause him in the past, it's, it's caused him to choke for a second or it just takes him out of his element. He's too aggressive with his delivery and shit like that. So as long as he knows how to balance that and not get overly aggressive or overly hyped or whatever the case, um, I see Murder putting in work. I'm gonna stay true to the Team Homie uh, right now. I've already called for Sway 2-1, so I'm gonna go Murder 2-1, but I can definitely see Floss the Boss pulling out some shit and putting on a great performance. Should be a good battle, looking forward to that one. Apologies, y'all. Um... My camera died when I was at the gym. But to conclude, uh, True Foe versus Don Dollar. I'm going to give that uh, to Don Dollar winning 2-1. Um, True Foe would be spitting some shit. But my one thing with him for me is that like his vocal projection, he's too like mellow and laid back sometimes when he's rapping. And I kind of almost feel as though like he's like, like I don't know, he's just like mad chilled. You know, like you, if you're battling someone, you you're not trying to like, I feel like you shouldn't approach a dude trying to whisper battle. You know what I'm saying? Like whisper rap. Like put a little bit more vocal projection. Um, when he turns up, he does turn up and you can feel the energy. But I feel as though sometimes he's too content with like just being mellow when he raps. Um, and calm and laid back when he raps. So if he turns up a lot earlier, um, I feel as though he could do some good work. Otherwise, I'm going to give it to Don. And um, easy to block captain versus tracks. I'm going to go with the captain 2-1. Um, but yeah, BST5 is going down tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Um, if you're in the New York City area, be sure to pull up, cop a ticket, go watch the battles live. Until then.